Today, I'll be looking at a Pennzoil filter. This model crosses over to most other filters I've covered, including this Fram in Mobile One that I've got right here. Now, this is the base model offered by Pennzoil. I wanted the Platinum HE version as well for this review, but it's not available in this size. If the demand is high enough, I may still cover it, but for now, I like to be consistent when it comes to crossover. So regarding construction, it's almost certainly made by the same folks that make the filters for Fram. Compared to the extra guard that I've got here, the only external differences are the grip coating, the colors and markings, and on the underside, Pennzoil uses nitrile rubber for their gaskets and anti-drain back valves, while Fram, on the other hand, has across the board switched over to using silicone, which performs better at more extreme temperatures. Lastly, the Pennzoil weighs about 5 grams less than the new version of the ExtraGuard does. Inside, you'll find the same cartridge assembly, basically, that you'll get with the Fram ExtraGuard, right down to the paper end caps even, which I am not a fan of at any price point, given that even Walmart's sub $3 SuperTech cartridge comes with metal end caps. Regarding the filter media itself, the Pennzoil's media is a bit darker in color than the Fram's, but they both offer 95% efficiency for particles greater than 20 microns. Now the Pennzoil will give you a total filter area of about 108 square inches versus only 102 on the Fram, but they're very close. And just for some context, to compare both of these guys to a higher tier product, here's some details on the Mobile One. The filter media is 99 plus percent efficient. It's got metal end caps. The center tube has a like a spiral wound seam, which is stronger than the axial seam on both the Fram and the Pennzoil. And lastly, the case thickness. On a lot of higher end filters, you'll get a 20 thousandths thick case versus only a 15 on some of the cheaper stuff, like this Pennzoil and the Fram. At the end of the day, if the Pennzoil build quality meets your needs, I would just steer you to a Fram because you're basically gonna get the same thing and it's easier to find. If you're looking for even better value than that, I'd have to steer you towards a SuperTech, which is again, less than three bucks. I did a cut up on one of these guys and was actually pretty impressed for what you get. So I'll put a link to that video at the end of this one. There's not much else to say about the Pennzoil other than it's basically just the old version of the Fram before they switched over to silicone. So there's really no reason to go for it over some of these other options. So anyway, just wanted to do a video on the Pennzoil. Please put other cut up requests in the comments and thanks for watching.